Hello guys, Migbem up here. Today I'm going to show you my latest Unity project. It's called Tetrad Touch. It is a falling block puzzle game. It is quite similar to another popular game, but the difference is that this version is open source. I want to give a big shout out to Zigaris as this project is built upon his work. To control the moving piece, you can swipe your finger left and right, you can swipe down and hold to move the piece down quicker, or you can do a quick swipe down to hard drop the piece. If you swipe up, you will hold the piece or by tapping the hold button at the top left. If you are interested in playing the game for yourself, firstly you will need to navigate to the GitHub page which I have in the description of this video. You will scroll down until you go to the releases and download the latest APK release. This is only currently available on Android. Once the file has been downloaded, you will open it and then allow from the source to install from Chrome. And then now you have Tetrad Touch installed on your Android phone. If you'd like to customize the game and adjust it to your exact liking, I will show you how to compile from source. First thing you'll do is go to the GitHub page, go to code, and then hit download zip. Once that's downloaded, we can go ahead and extract it wherever you want. I'm going to put in my downloads. Alright, looks good. Now let's go into our Unity Hub and do add project from disk, go to our downloads, and select Tetrad Touch. Now we're going to need to install our Unity Editor. Right now it uses the 3.19, make sure you check Android build support, and then hit continue. Alright, this process might take a while, so I'm going to skip through it. Alright, now we got the Visual Studio installer, just go ahead and accept that. Now, when you get to this window here, make sure you scroll down and check the Unity add-on. Alright, that looks good, now click install. Once that's done, we can hit not right now, maybe later, and then choose your theme. And then once Visual Studio is working, we can close out of it, as well as the installer. And then once Unity is finished installing, we can just hit Open Tetrad Touch. Once we're in the Unity project, we can go into Scenes and then double click Tetrad. That will load up the game. Now a couple things we need to change in build settings. First we need to change the build from Windows, Mac, Linux to Android. I'm going to click Android, then hit Switch Platform. And then once that's done, one other change, we just need to enable Visual Studio in the editor. So we're going to go to Edit, and then Preferences. And we're going to go up to External Tools, and then on the top right, we're going to hit Visual Studio Community. That should be good. Now what we can do, go into our Scripts folder, and we can edit all the c -sharp code. And once that's open, you can see the code here. Go ahead and change it to whatever you like. And then once you're done making edits to the code, in order to build the game, we go up to File and then Build Settings. Then we can hit Build. And then I'm going to make a new folder called Build. And then I'm just going to give a name. Now that the APK is done compiling, we can transfer it to our phone for testing. If you find a bug in the code, or if you want to suggest a new feature, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.